everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home I know this is not how I usually start videos out but today's video is gonna be a bit different you all know that I give you a lot of home organization and just home management tips and tricks here on this channel today I'm sharing with you an idea that I have been really thinking about for a while and I'm excited to implement it in my house. So I'm labeling this station organization. And basically we are going to create some stations around my house that are just helpful. Some of them will be easy to move from place to place, which is the idea behind this. And the other thing I wanted to add to this concept is I know that some of you watching may not have an apartment or a house with lots of closets or a place to put storage units. So basically we are downsizing this idea and organizing small itty bitty spaces, if that makes sense. So I have a few different um, station containers that I'm going to be showing you today. Here is a basket one and here is just one with a handle. Most all of the ones that I'm going to show you today have handles so that they're easy to pick up and move from place to place. So I'm going to start out with the station that I am most excited about and that is the get out the door station. So if you are a mom or maybe a nurse or someone with a really tight, busy schedule that you are running out the door and you wanna just make sure you've got a couple things beside the door or near your door that you can grab and go, then you're gonna really like this station. Here in my get out the door station, I am going to be using this handy caddy. I found this at TJ Maxx and it just has three nice dividers in it to give me three sections. And of course I can grab this. Now this is probably going to be stored in our coat closet. If you guys remember, I did an organization video of that not that long ago. We've got the caddy here. Of course you can customize all of this. And this reminds me a little bit of a purse refill station also. So if that applies a bit more to you. So something that we're always looking for to get out the door is some socks. So this is a pack of socks that will fit my daughters and I may even put some socks in here that are mine. I have some gum, which I'm gonna unwrap these. So if I'm in a hurry, I can grab a pack and go. I've got chapstick, again, I'm gonna unwrap this. I've got little packs of wet wipes because these are a must when you're a mom. And even when you're not a mom, I use them all the time too. Some hair ties because that's the number one problem we have when we're getting ready to get out the door is to get everybody's hair combed up and ready to go. So I also have a brush that we're gonna put in here as well. So the next station that we're going to make is a get ready station for me. I'm really excited about this idea because I feel like no matter where I'm at, whether I'm sitting on my bed or I'm working at my desk in my office, um, that I can take this station around with me wherever I'm getting ready for the day. And whenever you are a mom, even specifically a homeschool mom, you know that that happens in different places of your house sometimes. So I wanted something that had a handle and I just thought that this basket was really, really pretty. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby for a good price. So I am going to go ahead and put my makeup bag in here. If you guys haven't switched your makeup to just a bag or a pouch, I highly recommend it. I had had a container that I was keeping all of my makeup in and I really just decluttered it and got it down to the things I really like. And so now I just have this 
and these little mesh baggies are actually from Amazon. I will remember to link them below because I use them in my purse. I use them for organizing different things. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. I'm gonna put my dry shampoo because we all know as moms we can't live without dry shampoo. Um, my favorite body spray, a chapstick, and then one other necessity that needs to go into this station is a little stand-up mirror. And this one was just really inexpensive from Walmart. It was a couple dollars. And I can set it up on my kitchen counter to get ready. I can set it up on my desk and it also folds again so I can easily pop it right back in here. This isn't going to be all cute in here. This is literally just put together for me to grab and go. I'm also putting a hairbrush in here and some claws, some hair claws because they're my favorite. And so I'm going to get some scissors, cut that open and put that stuff in here. And then this little basket is ready to go. And since it's not super organized on the inside, I like the fact that it's woven. It kind of hides what's going on in here. Even if it's piled together, at least it is in one place and easy for me to grab. One, I wanna say a big thank you to Smile Eater for sponsoring today's video. I have been really loving the Smile Eater Ultrasonic Jewelry Cleaner with five level digital timer. This device offers 43 kilohertz and 360 deep cleaning. It's useful to remove dust, grease, fingerprints, and sweat stains. You can use it on things like eyeglasses, dentures, silver and gold jewelry, rings, watches, razors, coins, makeup brushes, and much, much more. It has a 750 milliliter large capacity and a stainless steel interior. With the five preset digital cleaning timers, it offers more flexibility and versatility based on the item's material and the degree of stains. Since it can hold two pair of glasses at one time, it cleans more items at the same time, saving you time and energy. Items can be fully submerged for thorough cleanings. With that stainless steel tank, it is corrosion resistant and it's safer for your valuables. It's polar white exterior goes well with minimalistic home style and it's portable for your travel needs as well. I personally love using this to clean my everyday jewelry and my makeup brushes. Smile Eater Amazon store is running a celebration event right now and all products in the store will have a discount of 40 to 70% off. Check out the Amazon store and the link for this product in the description box below. And it also makes an excellent gift with the holidays. Okay, so this station idea was kind of born out of necessity. We do not have a very big backyard, and I think that a lot of people struggle with the same problem when you have children and you don't have a very large outdoor place for them to play in. But one thing we do use a lot is our front porch. We love our front porch. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you know that every season I redecorate our front porch. It's kind of like a second living room for us. And so we also have a sidewalk that goes out the um, front area of our front porch as well. So what happens is, is in the evening, Corey and I end up sitting out there and talking or just enjoying coffee or something like that and the girls end up playing out there as well and I just was kind of thinking I need a little station where they can have activities that work out on the front porch or on the sidewalk things that, that they can entertain themselves with and then we can kind of corral all of those activities back into the caddy or the station since I'm calling it that today. Um, and so games and things like that. Because I'm doing my best to keep all of this pretty budget friendly, um, I went ahead and I picked this up a while ago at the Target um, bargain area and it is $5. It actually does have some dividers in here that you can divide this however you want to. And then this here may not fit in the caddy. This may have to go 
um, by next to the caddy under one of our little coffee tables out on the porch. Um, but I got a jumbling tower. This is something they can play on the steps outside. If right now it's a little cold. We're not spending that much time out there, but I still wanted to put this together because I feel like it is a great idea and I don't want to lose track of this idea even if we don't use this stuff for a few months or a few weeks. So I also got a jump rope. That's something that they can have out there. Obviously sidewalk chalk, bubbles, um, some glow sticks because we spend a lot of evenings out there. And then also I got these little pullback cars. I think Target has these. I think I got these either at Target or Walmart. And these are so fun to send down the sidewalk and race with. So just a few little things. Obviously I can change this stuff out as the seasons change and we may have like water activities. I was thinking like squirt guns, once it gets really warm could go in here. Um, just some things like that. Okay, so this station is definitely targeted at my homeschool moms or and or moms of multiple ages that you've got your hands full a lot. So I decided to make a little learning caddy and this is mainly targeted at my youngest um, just because there's times when I'm working with the older two on something and she is right there next to me and just needs um, a little bit of activity. So this bin is probably going to be one that will get swapped out often and just having different things rotating in it depending on the needs of my children. So I'm just calling this kind of a learning station, um, something where even if I'm working at my desk in the office doing um, computer work or something like that and she wants to come and do something next to me these are a few things that she can do so again I found this bin um, at the Target uh, I don't know I always want to say Target dollar section because that's what we always called it but I know that's not what it is it's like their bargain section so this was only a couple of dollars I think it's cute it's got some pencils on it um, and it also has handles um, and then just going in it right now, I'm doing a letter puzzle, which is zipped in its own little uh, pouch, which will be really, really helpful. And then some little building blocks, again, in their own kind of container to keep them grouped together. Some flashcards, and then these things I use a lot, whether you're a homeschool mom or you're someone with little ones for in between their kindergarten days or whatever they're doing. Um, but this is the, a dry erase um, practice book. And we have a couple of these actually, and I buy big packs of dry erase markers. And this has helped the girls a lot in learning their letters and numbers. I know that you guys have been asking for a little bit of homeschool tips here and there. So this is something that we use very regularly, even when they're, my older ones are working in their workbooks and they need, like they're getting stumped on getting B and D turned around, the lowercase B and the lowercase D. Um, I'll just pause everything, we'll take some time and we'll dig out one of our dry erase books and they'll just practice their B's and D's. It saves a lot of paper and just makes it so that if you are a person that prints things out, you don't need to print out as many practice sheets because you can just erase it and keep going. So I know there wasn't a lot that went into this little caddy, but I love the concept behind it, especially if you've got multiple ages in your house that are in a very learning phase of their life. All right, you guys, I told you we're gonna do some itty bitty detail organization today. <laughs> so this is not necessarily a station, more of, I would consider this to be more of a caddy, more of a small space organization. So 
I got this thing off of Amazon and it's really, really convenient. It's neat. I love the color of it. Um, I will link it below. There is a few other colors and you can zip it down to where it is flat or flatter um, and not very deep or you can unzip it and it gives you a lot more space for different things. If you guys don't know, I am a huge bullet journaler. I love my bullet journal. I do post um, spreads and things once in a great while on my Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me there, you can definitely go check that out. So I'm just going to put all of my things that I like to bullet journal with in here. And the same concept kind of applies as all of the other stations we did today. I can grab this, I can take this out the door with me, I can do this at the table, I can do this in bed, I can do it at my desk, I can do it while I'm homeschooling if the girls are busy and I've got a few minutes to write some things into my schedule. This is all with me. So I'm going to take in the main area and put my favorite highlighters. I get that question a lot. This pack is my favorite highlighters. This is pretty much the color scheme of my entire bullet journal <laughs> because I use these. I actually have more than one set of these. I have another set in my desk um, just because they are my favorites. So those are gonna be going in here. If you're a bullet journaler or a planner, you need a ruler. So a nice little short ruler some whiteouts, obviously. These are my favorite pens. They don't bleed whenever I highlight them, so they are my favorite. And then I also have some brush pens, which I love to do some pretty um, lettering and things like that in my bullet journal. And um, also to go in here is some washi tape. So we're gonna throw that in there. And also some clips. Sometimes it's nice to hold your pages flat. So I um, will throw those in there as well. And then I actually have a hair tie here. Usually I have some chapstick I like to keep with me, so I need to get that and put it in here. And then on this side, I have my fine point pens. And these are just colors that I really like. I like to buy individual pens because I love sticking to a more neutral color scheme. So I'm gonna pop those in here and they'll just work like this. I love this little this little organizer. It just keeps everything nice and neat and you don't have to have everything flying all over your bag in the inside, especially if you're someone that has a lot of little details when it comes to your planning and stuff like that. And then I like to keep a pair of scissors just to cut my washi tape at an angle if I want to. And then this here is an, a foldable full-size roller ruler, I'm sorry, to put in here. I've got sticky notes, and I love my brown paper sticky notes. Those are also from Amazon. So they fit in here perfect, and I'm gonna zip this up, and then just some paper clips, and I'm gonna pop those right in here. And that is how I like to keep all of my itty bitty things for my journaling. I can take it with me anywhere I go, it fits great into my backpack that I use as a purse. And you can also use the front for extra rulers or a pen or whatnot. So just thought it was worth sharing this little caddy because it's something that I use every single day. So no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter your hobbies, no matter how you run your household, I feel like this whole concept of station organization is something that any one of us can use. And I would love to hear your ideas in the comments of the types of stations you either have around your house already or ones that you wanna to create to help your life be more organized and the flow so much better. I'm excited to put these in their places in my house and I feel like they're gonna be really helpful and that I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. So like I said, I can't wait to hear in the comments what your ideas are. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of home organization and decor and just keeping our homes tidy and running smoothly. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys in the next one.